I think the first thing that I'd have to say about my experience with Lyme disease um, is what your doctor does not know about Lyme disease may kill you. And I mean that sincerely. I, I think people are just going through so much, uh, through so many problems uh, because of Lyme. Uh, I myself had to move out of my home. Um, I lost motorcycles, cars, and I lost um, every cent to my name uh, because I was home, homebound uh, for four years. Uh, for a year and a half, I lost my speech. I could barely make it across my living room, uh, which was only about 20 feet to the next room and it would take me over two hours to recuperate from that. Um, I didn't know much about Lyme disease, uh, and I didn't know much about the co-infections also that the deer ticks are capable of carrying. Uh, but I know a lot about it today. So I'm a lot better than I was seven years ago, but I'm still not there. Today I feel halfway decent. Tomorrow, I could be flat on my face. And I think the amazing thing is people look at you and they go, wow, Mike, you look great. But inside, you feel like death. If I was just made aware that I had Lyme or that I possibly had Lyme, you have to do as much research as you possibly can. You have to be your own doctor. And you, you, you've really got to go in depth. You've got to talk to people. You've got to look at websites. And you have to do so much research because if you don't do it and do it quickly at the beginning of this disease, you're going to wind up in serious trouble. So do your research. Believe me when I tell you.